my role project management tutorial and review hello guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to give you a tutorial and review of myro.com and how you can use myro for project management needs so let's get into the video so first of all what you need to do is you have to open myro.com and you can just go on and type it in the url bar and you're going to access it after that this is going to be your home page so myro is a great platform that you can use for project management in myro you can have your team's visual platform to connect collaborate and create together so here is the platform and these are all the trusted customers of uh, Myro it has Walmart and Cisco and Volvo and you can work together wherever you work you can connect your tools close your tabs and the ways we work you can review the report you can build for the way you work you can do the brainstorming you can build for all kind of teams you have your if you are a big enterprise to a small business Myro is a good choice for you so how you can get started is you can just click on and enter in your work email and you can continue by creating your account on Myro and just going to enter my email really quickly and then i'll continue with the creation of my account and then i'll show you guys what is the main dashboard of myro how you can use it for project management and what are some templates that are available for your project management so in continue to sign it i have to enter in my name then there might be some other details that i need to add i'm just going to add in my name really quickly and i need to create a password i agree to myro terms and services click on create account okay so now a uh, six digit code has been sent to my email address i'm just going on to my inbox log in really quickly get the code back and then i'll tell you guys what's the next step okay so after logging in or after signing in into myro this is going to be the main platform this is going to be the main dashboard here you have your recent boards your start boards the boards are going to be the project management uh, platforms where you'll be working uh, where you'll be organizing everything so i'm just going to introduce the boards to you first of all let me show you around but are all the items that you are getting on the first uh, dashboard that you get so this is jane's team this is me and i'm on the only user right now so when you uh, will have more users you can see the team profile the users the apps and integrations and permissions of the team and if you want to leave the team you can but i'm on the owner of the this team so obviously i cannot leave then you have your boards in this team uh, there basically you can generate different kind of themes in uh myro and you can have different kind of boards in the myro as well so when you want to create a new project or new board you just need to click on this option and you can group boards into projects easily find and share boards when you group them so you can group different kind of boards in your projects and you can find them uh, like for example when you have one project related to uh, some kind of event that uh, that's coming up and you have all these boards that are managed as that have been made in order to make different kind of you know uh, to manage all of the uh, you know happenings that are going to happen on that event so you manage all of those boards in one project but i cannot do that right now because this uh, option is available in the upgraded version of myra and i'm using the free version so i'm just going to skip it right now and when you want to create a new team you need to click on this option this plus sign right here and you can add a new team to the already existing myro profile that you have so to create a new team you just need to enter the name of the team name your team before choosing a new plan subscription and for that you need to also have to update your plan subscription so that's fine i'm not going to do that right now but this is how you basically do that i'm just going to cancel it so now let's start creating a board so here you can see that these are all the options to create a board i can create a new board by this option right here or i can go on and uh, use any of these existing templates so i have a mind map i have a kanban framework for quick retrospective flow chart timeline builder and there are other time uh, options of templates as well let's click show all and here you can see that for you your personalized recommendation so these are all the options that you have quick retrospective customer touch point map user story map framework flow chart you have a product roadmap you have a brain writing visual table so these are all the uh, templates that you have and here you have all of the options of templates like for example if you have any specific template that you want to use like for example um, you have your meetings and workshops it, you can uh, find your templates by use cases you have research and uh, design strategy and planning brainstorming and ideation so i'm just going to click on strategy and planning and i'm going to see which of the templates that are available for that so here you can see that you have a timeline workflow you have a stakeholder map you have a normal workflow you are getting a product roadmap meta 
S W O T. You have a 2023 monthly calendar, etc. So these are all the templates that you're gonna have in your strategy and planning. So I'm just going to use this product roadmap right here and track and align your team contributions from product launch to maturity. So let's say I have a business and I'm basically uh thinking forward to launch a product. So that's why I'm using this template right here. So I'm just gonna wait until it loads. I'm gonna show you guys how you can edit this template and how you can use it to build something of your own to have it as your own personal product management tool okay so here you can see that this is the board that you have now if you want to increase the zoom you can just go on and click this option and you can increase so that it fits the screen okay so here you can go that now it fits the screen now you can go and and work on this product roadmap what you can do is you can just go on and click on this option of templates and you can add a new template if you want to you can change the template that you have your text i want to add different kind of text into my roadmap that i have right here so i'm just going to click on this option and I, here you can see that i've got a text box so i'm just going to expand it and i'm going to add whatever text that i want into this so what is uh, basically it does is i can have i can link the objects use arrows and lines to connect items to the board or just drag a connection line from one item edge to another okay so I, if i want to connect two items i'm just going to drag the item line so that they both connect to one another so here you can see that this is the item right here and i want to link the objects so i'm just going to click on this option and make it a link to this one or i can just go on and drag it and drop it right here or i can just go on and make it link to this one so this is how basically you link items in this i'm just going to you know drag it back to its original place like this so what you can do is here is the link option if i want to link something to some other uh you know blog i'm just going to do that and here you can see that a link has been created into this so whenever a product flow is done i am just going to whatever the category that i'm going to add into this i'm just going to you know it is going to be linked to this uh, item right here so you can go on and uh, you can delete the link if you want to and for example here you're gonna have an option to delete the link like this uh, or you can also go on and add text to it or you can basically insert any shape you can see the line type is this if you want to change the line type you can do that as well for example i have changed the line type to this right here and it is basically more clean than the previous one and you can also have none and you can basically redo the line shape and you can also make it colored if you want to for example i want to uh, color red so here you can see that it is now pink so how you can add different kind of descriptions into each one of these like this is the one right here now if i want to add a comment into it i'm just going to click on this option and i'm going to add a comment or use uh you know at the rate of to mention the comment can be uh work hard or something like that i'm just going to click on this option and i can see that it has been added here as a comment now whenever a person will open this a specific box right here they're going to see the comment that i have attached to it the next thing is if i want to add uh you know a text to this one i'm just going to click on this uh you know i'll open the text option i am going to click on any specific box right here here you can see that this one i'm going to click on text i'm going to click on here you can see that a text box has been opened now i can just go on and uh, delete the text that has already been put here like this and i can add any text that i want for example this one so i in order to see the text more clearly i need to zoom in further because i'm still very zoomed out and i cannot see clearly what has been you know or what has already been written here and what i can more write or how i can delete and i'm just going to go on click on zoom in and continue with the one that i'm working so here you can see that now i am and i have i have more clear view of what's going on so here you can see that i've just added my text if i want to change the you know the font of the text the font size I want to make it bold i need to change the lines i need to bullet point it add any link to it or if i want to change the you know highlight the text if i and if i want to make the set the color and opacity so these are all the things that i can do right here then i have an option to add a sticky note to any thing that i have like for example if i want to add a sticky note i can just go on and click on the board that i want to add it here you can see that a sticky note has been added so i can type it uh anything in it uh it basically going to it is going to make uh you know your whole workflow very easy because if there is a something that related to some task which is very important or if it just uh, got you know if you just got it into the mind you can just add a quick sticky note to all of these things and uh whenever a teammate goes on and starts uh, you know building the project or starts building the product that you want they can see the sticky note because it has been it's been put up there 
and you cannot just ignore it so it is a very good thing to add and here you can see that you can change the color of the sticky note you can uh, see that uh, the font style the font size you can uh, add any tags to it you can uh, show the author of the sticky note add emojis make it more interactive you can cluster the objects you can add comments to sticky note and also lock it if you want to so that it won't be moved whenever you make a different kind of edits to the board so here you can see that you have other options of it as well like here you have the shape you can add different kind of shapes to it you have an option to of the connection line you can change it that i've showed you before more tools and here you're going to get more tools like you have an option of pen as well and you can draw on this board uh, as well so right here you have an option to of in settings you can export this board you can search the board and you can also explore different kinds of apps and integrations that you can add into this board so i'm just going to go on and open that and i'm going to show you what are some uh, apps and integrations so you can see that built by myro you can add microsoft 365 all the asian google workspace so these are all the apps that you can add there are some other as well if you want to search it go on and search the, all the apps that you can add and they're going to help you a lot in building the whole thing then i'm going to cross it and here you can see that i have other options that i can add i have add an estimation a tall track of voting a timer and other things as well this is how basically this is the basic gist of myro myro is a very uh you know diverse platform that you can use for so many different tasks so uh, each of the board that you choose the editing options are going to be some kind of similar but depending on the board type they can differ from this one that i've showed you so you can just go on and search for the ones uh, search for the board that you want to use and uh you're going to ultimately find everything there because it is so easy to use and it is also made very user friendly so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to software is made easy thank you